Hi guys, PD here, welcome to the channel, welcome to another new video. Dying Light is on sale at the moment and there's a massive promotion on for the new game, Dying Light 2. So if you go into Steam you can buy the original game, Dying Light, and all the DLC, really really cheap. Uh, the original game, for example, £8.49. Um, I picked up the DLC for £4 as well. So I picked up the uh, following DLC, which is here. Okay guys, a lot of people don't realise that there's a secret VR mode in Dying Light, the original game. Now this only works on an Oculus headset. So you need a Rift S, a Rift, a Quest 2 or a Quest. Today I'm going to be trying this on the Quest 2 to see if it works. A friend of mine tried it recently on a Rift S and it works. I'm going to show you how to unlock the VR mode for the game and we're going to play the game on the Quest 2 and I'm using the Xbox controller today. I don't think this game can be played with the motion controllers guys. Back in the day when this game was being developed and they was working to add VR, you only had the game pads or the mouse and keyboard. So back then there was no motion controllers so you can try the motion controllers guys but I don't think they're going to work. Okay, so let me show you how to get this up and running and how to unlock the VR mode for the game. The first thing you need to do, you need to click on File Explorer and you need to go into your Documents. So on your PC, find Documents and then scroll down until you find Dying Light. Now you'll have a folder. You do need to install the game first, guys. You need to install the game and play the game at least once for this folder to appear. So once you've done that, go to Documents, go to Dying Light, go into the Out folder, and you want Settings. In the Settings, there's two files. Now you need to open Notepad, so go down to the bottom left of your windows, type in Notepad, and open this Notepad. Now we need to drag the video.scr file into here. Ignore all the text, scroll down and at the bottom you need to type in Oculus Enabled open bracket close bracket and then save the file guys that's all you need to do. Now when we jump into the game it should boot up into VR. I'm going to save this file I'm going to uh, run the game. Uh, you'll know if it works because you should see a double image guys and you should see it split the game into two images. There we go. So that's the uh, stereoscopic view, the left and the right eye. I'm now going to record what I can see on the Quest 2. It's a little bit jumpy at the moment guys on the, uh, the, the on the intro screen as you can see there. I'm hoping that um, clears up later on. I'm using AirLink, so I'm connected to my PC remotely um, with AirLink. If the gameplay is really stuttery on the Quest 2, I'm going to have to use the RefS guys. So I hope this works. And we won't really know if it's working until we're actually in the main game, so... Okay, I'm going to um, continue a game. Okay guys, here we are in the game. And as you can see, I can look up and down. Keep a distance from rises, mate. Look behind me. It's a little bit uh, jerky at the moment. Uh, let me go into my settings menu. See what I've got on my settings. Okay, let me turn these off. Motion blur, AA. That's the field. Turn all these off. I'm 
shadow map on medium, foliage quality on medium. It means air drop. You seem a little bit under the weather. Don't worry. Zero will figure something out eventually. Did you hear about Rise? Well, okay, guys, so it's not very smooth. Rich selling antizen to people on the quest to too. I don't know if there's a way to um, turn the graphics right down to minimum. Third view, let me turn that all the way up. Vertical sync off. Turn these down to the low view. View distance, I'm going to put it all the way up to the maximum. Okay, so everything's on the low now. And it's running a lot smoother, guys. But I want to try... I want to try this on the uh, Rift S. Hello, 3D is working really, really well. That building looks realistic, okay. I'm a little bit rusty, guys. I've not played the game for a long while. Now, if you've got a more powerful PC, you'll probably get a better experience from this game. Some zombies here, look. I don't know if I've got any weapons. Okay, I've got some firecrackers. There we go, I've got a weapon now. So, it is playable in VR, but I'm getting a... Uh, not the best frame rate in the world, guys, I must admit. Um, I don't think I'd play the full game like this. It's too... Um, I'm used to uh, better performance. Don't get me wrong, guys. It still looks really, really amazing in 3D. Okay, Buster's on me in the head. I feel like I want a better experience guys, um, you probably see on the video, very jerky, I'm not having the uh, best experience. Okay, I need to repair my weapon. Great fun bashing zombies in the head though. Uh, these look like real zombies as well, look like real three dimensional zombies in front of me. They got weight in the form. Yeah, performance is not great on the Quest 2. That could be a link, guys. So I'm going to uh, try again on the Rift S. See if I get a uh, better performance. Okay, guys, I'm on the Rift S and already. This is a really smooth experience. This is perfect now. And this looks amazing still. Again, my settings are still on low. Um, I can tweak it. I can try to get it looking even better, but while this is working, guys, I'm going to leave it alone for now. I'm using the uh, gamepad to... Um, you can move the camera with the gamepad. Very similar to how you play a Vorpex game. But you also you've got like um, also plays like a normal VR game look. I can look down, I can look up, I can look around me. Uh, this is super smooth now. 
So there must be a problem with the Oculus Quest 2 and Air Link guys. Okay guys, so this is running super super smooth now. It looks amazing. Frame weight is perfect. I'm getting like 90 frames per second here. It looks amazing in 3D. All the juttery, all the stuttering has gone. So this is playing the game natively on the Rift S. Again, the game is designed to play on the original Rift. Now don't forget when they uh, started to add VR support for this game, back then, only the Rift was available. There was no Rift S, no Quest 2. So if you've got a Quest 2 and you've got this game, and you want to give this a try guys, try the link cable, and also try Virtual Desktop. I would be really interested to know if any of you guys can get this to run on the Quest 2. For this video, I'm not going to mess around trying the virtual desktop, trying the link cable. Um, I played Stormland yesterday with the AirLink. I was in my bedroom. It ran perfect and it ran just as good as what this is running right now, guys. So there might be an issue with the game and the Quest 2 and AirLink. Well, this is working, so I'm going to have a quick play of the game. Okay, let's leave the safe zone. This is very playable, guys. I could quite happily play this game all the way in this mode. Okay, we need to avoid those zombies, so... Okay, guys, the head-up display, the hood. I can barely see the uh, bottom left of the hood. I've not played the game for a while, guys, so this is a bit of a learning curve. I need to try and work out what everything does. That's my torch. Bandage. Okay, and that's my inventory. Okay, how do I bring up the map? Okay, that's the uh, options. Inventory, okay, there we go. So I found the map. I'm there. Okay, I need to go over here, look. I need to prepare a trap. Okay. So we need to go this way. This is amazing guys. This is superb. If you've got Rift or Rift S and you've got this game, do yourself a favour. This is well worth it guys. And at the moment I feel like I'm playing a Vorpex game. If you try this and you like it guys, then this is very similar to how we play our uh, Vorpex games. Okay, hold down the left thumbstick to run. Okay, try to avoid the zombies. Okay, we need to set a trap here. Yeah, this looks amazing, super sharp. And this is on the lowest settings guys. I'm playing the game on a RTX 2070. Graphically, this looks superb. It really does. I don't feel like I need to um, up the graphics anymore. Like I said, I'm getting a really smooth experience. Okay, set a trap. Jade here. Is anyone outside right now? Urgent help needed. Um, I'm outside. I'm working for Spike. You're Crane, right? Listen, our runner's trying to secure one of our safe houses for Brecken's mission. He's in a courtyard by Vefa and Mimar, surrounded by zombies. We gotta help him. Alright, I'm on it. Okay, let me bring up my map again. Quests. Help the trap survivor, okay? We need to go over here. I really should try to um, complete this game. This is very playable, guys. Okay, we need to make our way towards the... Uh... Okay, I'm going to try and avoid all the zombies, guys. Very easy to... Um... 
die in this game. And I can use the houses for getting past the zombies. I don't think the zombies can climb that well. Okay. What's the crouch? There we go. Hello guys. Okay, I need to kill these. Combat is amazing in this game. Repair my weapon. So, uh, my save point, I um, reinstalled the game, guys. And I tried it in Vorpex last year. Um, this is basically my first mission. I got it working, I showed everybody the game working. Uh, and this is as far as it got, really. Okay. I can just see the map. On the top right of my screen guys if I look up go away okay I've got a new skill stay down don't get up Hello, welcome to the party. That knocked her teeth out. I'm so sorry, love. Oh, gruesome. Where's your arm, mate? You've lost an arm. Let me uh, put you out of your misery. Oh, crap, where'd you come from? I thought you were dead. Hey, okay, down. Now if you play games like Alien Isolation, this is a very similar style of uh, gameplay. You can look down with your head. The only difference is um, you have to use your thumbstick on the right to compensate your view sometimes. Now if this was a proper VR game guys, you would not be able to use your thumbstick to look up and down. Um, like I said, I'm used to playing these types of games in Vorpex so I'm used to compensating with my right controller some of you guys might find that a bit jaunting at first but trust me guys stick with it and before you know it you won't even know you won't even know this uh, button exists okay so we're going this way okay so we're going to jump over this fence Hello. What's the step? Okay. Oh, hello. Everybody wants to play. My weapon's damaged. Let me repair it. Hello. Even the birds look realistic in the sky. So now, guys, I feel like I'm actually inside the game. This feels like a real world. Okay, I need to avoid all those zombies over there, look. Okay, it's getting a bit hectic now. Grab all the loot. In the face. Oh. You want some? Oh, that was gruesome. I f okay, someone behind me, isn't there? Yep. I forgot how gruesome and amazing this game is. This game is so satisfying, guys. Um, in this game, though, when the sun goes down, you have to get inside. There's some really nasty zombies come out at night. To be honest, I've never seen them in the game. I've never been out at night. Are you dead? 
Stay down. Will you stay down? Sir. Okay, can I change my weapon? Go for the pipe. Here you go, mate. I'm this way. Turn around. He's a bit disorientated, bless him. I've been beating him around the head too much. Okay. Where did they go? There's a horde of zombies there. Where did they go? Okay, and you can loot in this game. It's all about um, climbing the buildings, finding hidden stash, crafting new weapons, that sort of thing. Like I said guys, I'm a bit rusty, I'm not played for a while. Okay, we need, we need to go this way. I need to avoid those zombies there. It's all about planning. Trying to work out where to go. Got the energy bar, that's health. Okay, let's run across here. I totally missed. Okay, I'm going this way, guys. Oh, we go. Grab all the gauze. I can craft a new item. Let me go into my menu. Okay, can I make anything? I can make a med kit. Let me uh, check out my skills. I've got some new skills. Agility. I've got a power level point. Okay, so we're going to put points into uh, melee. Stun lock. Okay, I've now got a stun skill. Okay, can we run across there? Yes, let's do it. So I get through the flames. Okay, there's a safe zone somewhere. Up here. Is this a safe zone? Not quite safe yet. Really dark in there, some zombies in there. So in this game guys, you want to be avoiding the zombies as much as possible. Okay, this is safe zone. Here, along with some infected. Watch yourself, Crane. Okay, this is a safe zone. I need to clear out the zombies though. So I can get inside this building. Welcome to my world. I would stop smoking mate, they turn into zombies, okay. Safe house. Let me in. All clear. Oh crap. Oh, man, I think it's too late for this guy. Okay, this guy turned in the safe house. Okay, it's done. Fuck. You had no choice. He wasn't human anymore. I've got a new weapon. Now, hurry. You still need to turn on the lights. That's the only way to make this place safe at night. Turn on the lights. Okay, I need to turn on the lights. Okay, let me bring up my uh, map. Turn the power on to unlock the safe zone. Okay, so where's the power supply? Like I said guys, I'm a little bit rusty.
Okay, where's the power of the journal? I got a blueprint. Here we go. Okay, power restored. So now when it gets to night time, guys, I can hide in oh, here. Shit. Okay, new quest. I need to go over here. Get to the building's roof. I've made a waypoint. Just give me a second. Okay, so I need to head towards that building over there a lot. Uh, lots of zombies there. Can I go around this way? Okay, still a bit. I guess I can go around this way. I'm up here. So I'm going to try and use these buildings look to get across. Okay. So you look where you want to go and then you just um, jump. Okay, I've been here I think. Okay, we're going to drop down here. And we need this building here. Okay, I need to get to the roof. The uh, natives aren't friendly. That's got spikes on it. Okay, up we go. Really, really easy to navigate as well, guys. Okay, is it this roof or that one? I'm totally on the wrong roof. What a noob, I need to be over here. I need to be on this building. Okay, same again. Run through here. I need to be up here. Let me kill this zombie. Okay, let's jump up here. What is this for? Okay, I've made a trap block. So let's get these zombies into the uh, into the electrics. Come here, love. Over here, I've got a nice pipe for you and some brains. Tasty brains. Well done. Okay, can I get some more? Can I get a horde of zombies to uh, electrocute themselves? Hi, guys. This way, there's a lunch over here, brains, come on guys, this way, and if I need to escape, I can just jump up here, look, this way, don't walk around, don't you dare walk around, oh it's not working, shit. Run away! <laughs> that did not go as planned. Empty? What's in here? Lock picking. I've 
go one lock pick. Did it. Okay, goodies in here, lock coffee and a pipe. Oh. Oh, cable. chest yeah easy peasy okay I'm finding lots of parts anyway that's a good sign uh, we need to go up here that view looks amazing guys crane here Okay, I met this doctor, scientist type. They've got him set up in a sort of research trailer and he's working on a cure for the virus. His name is Zera. Hello? Do you copy? Affirmative. Secondary objective added. Maintain your cover and secure all of his research. Acknowledge. Your stolen file still takes top priority though, right? Affirmative. We find it unlikely that a single researcher working out of a trailer could produce any significant results. But if he does, we want to see it. Jade, it's done. Good. We'll need to prepare more places like that one. We've got more spots picked out for future safe zones. Spike will mark them on your map later. And Crane, thank you. Back to you, Spike. Right now, you need to get back to our main task and arm the next trap. There's another car close by. Got it. Okay guys, so when you start the game, you start in this building over here, look. I've got a new objective now. I need to be really careful though, the uh, sun's going down. Okay, some more traps here I need to uh, activate. The infected are all over the street. So what does that tell you? Keep off the street. Try to stay on the rooftops where they can't reach you. Well, they're all around the car, Spike. You still have some firecrackers, don't you? Just throw some into the crowd. Those dead bastards are easily distracted. Okay, firecrackers. I need to distract the zombies. Okay, I might need to make some. Oh, there we go. Okay, while well, they're going for the firecrackers, I'll try to um, set these up. And this one. All done with the car spike. Okay, get out of there quick. Okay, that was close. Have some cash. Hello. Now there is stamina in this game as well, so you've got to be really careful, guys. You run out of stamina. Okay, this is getting a bit dangerous now. Let me uh, get somewhere safe. Okay. Okay, check my waypoint. Where we're we going? Over here. More traps over this way.
So these zombies are really, really slow, guys. Um, they're only deadly when they bunch up on you. At night time is when the uh, super fast zombies come out. Okay, there's a trap here. Zombies down there on the train tracks. Can I go up here? Spike, these freaks are everywhere. If I need to use a trap, how do I activate it? Stay down. Shit. Okay. This guy wants his uh, few minutes of YouTube pain. Just stay down. Mate. Okay, let me try a different weapon then. Try that one. <laughs> Why do you stick your tongue out when you're doing things like opening safes and locks? Okay. More goodies? Okay, let me get my map. So we're going over here, look. Under the bridge. Getting really, really dark. Okay, how do I kick them again? One behind me, you swine. I want to kick them onto the spikes. There's like spikes here, look, you see. Okay, they're going towards the cracker. There's a button so Oh there we go. Kick. Let me kick them onto the spikes. Come here, mate. Okay, can I throw that with a cracker? They blow up. It's bonfire night for the zombies. Okay, I'm going to kick you onto the spikes. One. One. Okay, you as well. Okay, you can go on spice, mate. Come this way a bit. See it. There we go. Enjoy. Okay, how are we doing? <sighs> that was clever, wasn't it? That'll teach you to run. Where you come from? Okay guys, getting really dark now. The game's starting to get a bit scary now. I need to try and get to this waypoint before it gets too dark. Like it.
Okay, is this building here? Okay, this building here. Okay, let's go up here. Across the flank. Okay, did we do it? What was my quest again? Prepare the light traps. Okay, there's a light trap here somewhere. Oh, it's there, look. It's quite a contraption you got here. Three times brighter than an ordinary street lamp. Gives the effect of quite the sunburn. Wasted it. Okay. That's my uh, lockpick broken. Okay, there's more we need to uh, arm. Hello? Anyone in? Thank you. Don't mind me. What are you doing up here? Get down. It's not safe. Okay, is this one? Okay, I need to climb this, don't I? Okay, I need to get to there from the bridge. Okay, how do I like these ones? Do I need to jump across? Okay, I need to climb the bridge. Okay, lots of zombies here. Let me get to the bus. Okay, there's a light here. I missed that one there. I feel like I need to run and jump on here. Yes. Awesome. And the last one, I need to drop down from the bridge. So let me, let me go and get on the bridge again. Okay, ledge. Okay. Can I get up here? I need to crawl across. 
do you maybe want to play games? Uh, not at the moment, mate. I'm playing. Um, I'm recording some gameplay. <laughs> okay, over there. So we need to go over here, then drop. Really cool in VR when you see your hands. Okay, job done. Okay, lights are all set. You waited for the next one, Ed. Better hurry. Better hurry. Okay, there's one more over here. Did that make a noise? Like the whole goddamn district went down. What the hell's going on? Oh, not again. All right, listen. There's a power substation near. Go check it out. Okay, we need to go inside here now. To the power station. Nope, not gonna make that. Hey, Ouch. this blackout has really put us in a tight spot. We're defenseless here. Plus the safe zones and some of my traps are down too. We need to get the power up to an ASAP. So gruesome. Stay back. What are you doing? No, teacher. Mate, don't get up. Okay, repair my weapon. It's getting really dark. The atmosphere in this game is amazing. Okay, we need to go in here, don't we? we need to um Oh crap! Oh that's not good. He's got a bigger weapon. Okay, can we beat him? Flash him in the head. Can't get me now. Okay, I need some weapons. Okay, his hammer's quite heavy. Ouch. Can I get him to blow himself up? Survivor sense. Firecrackers, okay, can I get him to... That's it, you hit that mate. Whack it. That's it, blow yourself up. Get the tank. Oh, 
I want him to blow himself up. <laughs> oh, that's funny, you see the zombie go flying. Okay, he's on fire now, so that worked. Okay, hit that mate. Lay yourself up. Okay. That's not helping. I've got no way to um, blow that up, have I? Okay, it doesn't like my light. Hey, I need you to hit this. Is he down? He's dead. I bashed him with a bottle. Can I take his weapon? That would have been a really cool weapon. Okay, try again. Come on, pull it. Okay, what do I need to do? Okay, are we safe in here? Here we go. Pull it! Nice. Alright, I've got the substation reset. But if the grid shorted once, you know it could happen again, right? You leave the electrical engineering to me, okay? Just get your ass to a safe zone. You're gonna have to spend the night there. Okay, I need to find a safe zone, guys, for night. Map. Uh, safe zone. Over here. Okay guys, I'm going to try and make it to the safe zone at night. This is going to be really scary. I'll probably get killed. Hello. I'm just going to leg it. Excuse me, coming through. Am I me? Okay, we're close now. Dead end. Oh my god. Oh crap. Crap, crap, crap. Okay, is this a safe zone? Okay, I made it guys. Just in time, look. Here come the uh, nasty zombies. Mate, go inside. Hey, Doc. This is Kyle Crane. Chris, what can I do for you? 
just saw this freaking weird zombies covered in big green blisters. It, it hauled ass as soon as it spotted me. You know anything about it? <laughs> Not enough information, I'm afraid. But if you see another one, do let me know. Okay guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Show us my little bell. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hi guys, PD here. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for your support. If you want to continue to support this channel, everything you do goes back into the channel. There's various ways to support this channel. We've got a Patreon. You can buy me a coffee. We've got a merch store, you can buy some mugs, t-shirts. And today I'm opening my brand new music shop. Many, many moons ago, before I did VR, I used to make electronic music and dance music. I've got quite a few albums available. I've got music, soundtracks and games. And this is my way of giving something back to you for your support. Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you next time.